all right guys we are in a different setting we are my mom's for my for our bi-weekly lunch we come here every other sunday my brother and sister-in-law come here with the baby and uh my nephew so two nephews um they just had the baby recently and it is her birthday next month but i already have all the things so i'm like i'm not gonna make her wait i'm just gonna give her a gift today so i brought her a gift and then I realized I never filmed it for you guys. And I did want to film it. I showcased a lot of small businesses. So I am going to pick up the box, give you guys a sneak peek, and then go into details on the items. So I use the birthday box from FabFitFun. Since I had it, I thought that would be cute. So it's the one that has all the birthday cakes. And that is her gift. Are you seeing all those goodies? So I thought it would be a cute way to showcase her gift. So let's get into it and show you guys what I got. So I just went to a small little like outdoor artisan market and you guys are gonna see some of those things for sure in here. The first two things were from a artist who hand paints, self-taught, he was talking to me and my boyfriend all about it. And um, he was charging three for 20 for these cute little small art prints. And he says how, he was saying how he loves horror, fantasy and nature. So I did a deal for three for 20. These two are for my sister-in-law, this one was for me. This shows a juxtaposition, like, isn't that crazy? Uh, but I'm definitely more into the cutesy stuff. So that's the one I got for me. I got her these two because she loves Michael. She loves Ghostface. Even though I don't like her, I can definitely appreciate the artwork. It is absolutely gorgeous. I can definitely see her framing these, putting them up on the wall, or putting them up on her bookshelf or nightstand or whatever. Whatever she chooses to do with them. But I love the red around the frame on this one. I love the red splatter on his face. So, so beautiful. I'm going to definitely include the business card as well. So if she wants to buy anything, she can check out his business card. This was also from him too. It's the Michael bookmark. She, he, sadly, he didn't have a ghost face one. So it matches her art print. She actually has a Michael's bookmark that I got her from Gigi and Bo last year. Um, but that one is like not cutesy. It's definitely um, Michael, but it's his full body. And it's like, um, you know, there's red on the knife and all that, where this one is just kind of like, a face and it's just black and white and I went with the art print so I got it that but then I did include a GG and bow bookmark for her as well she loves ghosts and she loves like country so I thought this was perfect for her because it's the ghosts wearing the cowboys hats and the pumpkins so and I love that she always matches the tassel I always get laminated with the tassel I'll link GG and bow down below but um you don't have to you can do just cardstock just tassel whatever your hot desire is, but she has a lot of cute designs. You guys know I love Gigi Bo if you've ever been on this channel. This is actually for the baby, but I thought I would throw it in her little box because it's kind of for her too. Um, she, like I said, she loves ghosts. So this is to hold the pacifier. Um, and he's actually going to be Jack Skeleton for Halloween. So I figured she could use it for Halloween, but I definitely see her using it all the time because she loves ghosts and it is fully silicone. So it is easy to disinfect and all that. But you would just put the pacifier on the string and it has the black clip to clip to the baby's clothes. Super cute. I love the black, white, and gray ombre beads. That, it was inside the mug and I have the bookmark sticking out of the mug that I showed you. But this is the mug I got her. She is obsessed with Winnie the Pooh. My nephew's nursery is actually fully Winnie the Pooh. His shower was Winnie the Pooh. So you have here, you have Winnie laying down with Piglet, Tigger and Eeyore. And on this side, you have just Tigger and Winnie. And they're like looking at the little bees in the sky. And it has a really beautiful marble look to it. I love it. It's very neutral Winnie the Pooh. Uh, versus like usual Winnie the Pooh, which is bright yellow and red. Um, and she loves coffee mugs. This was actually a TJ Maxx find. Um, I ripped off the tag, but I want to say it was like $6.99. Then I got her, this was actually at that little artisan market. I got her two keychains. They are both Winnie the Pooh and they are stinking adorable. So we have Winnie holding his honey pot. They were two for five and I could not leave them there. And he has his little friend Tigger. Tigger is plastic. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera where Winnie the Pooh is felt. I mean, I'm sure the base is plastic, but he's actually almost soft compared to Tigger, but so cute. And I love that he was holding his little pot of honey. And then I got her a book sleeve of Winnie the Pooh. This is from Book and a Sweater. Um, I follow her on Instagram. I love her. And you guys, I, you guys know I love a good book sleeve. It just helps protect your book. Um, if you're going to put it in your work bag, your lunch bag. Um, I, when it's buy it for myself, I usually get the ones that have the pocket. Because a lot of times I will throw my cell phone in the pocket and walk out the door. But I mean, you could easily fit a cell phone in here as well. But it's just extra protection. 
Um, the pockets too are nice if you're someone who annotates your books, you can put your annotation supplies. Because you guys know I read on my porch, my backyard. So I just love having the little book sleeve to carry around. People also put their Kindles in here. But it is a really, really cute Winnie the Pooh print. Again, you have Winnie, Piglet, you have Eeyore. Um, they're looking at the butterflies and the clouds and the trees. Super duper cute. And you do have Tigger here in the corner but i want to get her this book sleeve and then with the book sleeve i got her a book um she had this on her wish list and it's my roommate is a vampire it's kind of why i wanted to give it to her earlier too because um halloween's next week so if she wants to read it like for halloween she can um but you know i'm sure she'll need to read that any time of year and then i got her this cup i almost certain this is pla uh, glass but not 100 sure if this is plastic it is a very very thick plastic I picked this up at Walmart of all places. Like the only thing I got that isn't a small business. Um, because glass cups on Etsy and stuff can be really expensive. Not that I don't support and wouldn't buy them, but I just happened to find this one at Walmart and it was definitely a lot cheaper. And I know it's kind of hard to tell, but there's ghosts on them. I put the tissue paper in here. So you can see there's little ghosts and they actually change color. It says works best with ice beverages. So I'm going to guess once this is ice cold, the ghosts change colors. I do not know to what color. I'm very curious. I actually bought this cup for myself as well. I just haven't used it yet. Came with a black bamboo lid and a black silicone straw. And then in the cup, I gave her a bunch of stickers. So she loves that before Christmas. So there's a zero sticker. There's an Oogie Boogie sticker. There's a Jack Skeleton sticker. And then this one is from Gigi and Bo. And it says Spooky Witch with a B. I'll leave it there. You know what that means. And last but certainly not least, this is definitely the most expensive purchase. I hope it fits her. I got it from Etsy shop. I have never purchased from before. I will go through my history and I will share the link down below. Uh, but I saw this and I thought of her instantly. She loves oversized sweatshirts. This, um, it's a Gildan brand. And... It's Winnie the Pooh, guys, with the fall leaves in this beautiful hunter green color. How beautiful is that? This was definitely the more expensive item. It was like $36, I think. Um, so I did spend like a good chunk of money. Um, I wasn't even, it was only supposed to be the sweater, the book sleeve, a book, and a bookmark, and the mug. And then I couldn't help it. I saw these stickers. I saw this cup at Walmart. Oh, and then last but not least, I just got this out at the Artisan Market the ghost face hair clip but this i really lucked out because i saw this on etsy for like ten dollars and then you still had to pay the five dollars for shipping and i said I, I just can't condone it i had already spent a lot of money and it was just that's a lot of money for a hair clip but when we went to the artisan event today someone this was the last one and someone was selling it for three dollars so i'm gonna add it in with her gift now she's gonna be here any minute and i know she's gonna love and appreciate everything i got her um but yeah so it's definitely a it's weird because it's Winnie the Pooh meets Spooky, but that is literally her. I literally, in the haul I just filmed, um, I showed you guys everything I bought at the Artisan Market. Because I bought more than just, you know, these things. Um, but, you know, this is just her gift. Um, and I talked about how, like, the guy that painted this, how he loves horror and nature. And how it's so weird that someone's so, you know, I guess that's, you know, someone with talent. But it's so weird how someone can like something that's so different horror and spooky to something so beautiful um and i talked about how my cousin upstairs is the same way like how he loves horror but he also loves disney um it's like night and day difference but it's the same with her you know she likes winnie the pooh which is super cutesy but she loves a michael myers there's nothing wrong with that but you know this kind of stuff personally scares me i am a scaredy cat let me know down below how you guys feel do you love horror are you a scaredy cat like me what is your favorite thing in her gift box i'm so happy i was able to repurpose the fab fit phone box i thought it'd be a really cute way to give her a gift so i have like the sweater at the bottom and everything else just kind of sitting on top and then i thought it was really cute having the the book box like stick out of the mug that's why i put a little bit of tissue paper to help hold it so and then like i said even though technically this gift is it for her? It's for my nephew. I know it's something she'll enjoy. It's something she likes. So I'm throwing that in as well. And these are cute little keychains. She can add to her keys. They gave it to me in the cute drawstring bag. So I figured I would showcase it that way. But that is it for this video. You guys will be seeing this on Monday or Tuesday. Uh, it's kind of perfect me filming it now too because I can post it without worries that she's going to see it because she's literally opening her gift as soon as she gets here. Um, so Mondays and Tuesdays are my unboxes and hauls. Wednesday is What's Up Wednesday, different every week. Thursday is Book Club with my friend Charmaine's st staycation. Friday is usually a vlog or a try on haul. Saturday is my outfits of the week. You guys see what I wore throughout the week at work. Um, 
Sunday is usually either a day off or self-care Sunday. So I do post majority of the time seven days a week, if not at least six days. If any of that sounds good to you, definitely consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell so you're notified next time I upload. That is it for this video, guys. Uh, let me know what your favorite thing was. And I was happy to support so many small businesses with our gift. Literally, the only thing that is not a small business is the cup and the mug. But everything else with small businesses, I'll link everything down below. That is it for this video. Be safe.